Hello, it's Burgess Taylor, and we're going to talk about why, why journal. This is going to be the first video in a three or four part series because I think it's important. People have asked me a lot of questions. Why I journal? What got me into journaling? How I journal? How I set up a journal? What made me change towards doing a diary text style journaling? And you can see back here, I have journals too. I have journals, journals, journals everywhere. And that's just some of them. Um, way back in the day, in 1975, when I was in second grade, I got a pink diary the summer before. So it would have been the summer of 74 or Christmas of 74. So the end of 74. But all throughout 1975, I journaled. My father died in April of 75, and I was a journaling maniac back then. And there's something about putting pencil or pen or crayon to paper, getting your thoughts and feelings out that is magical. And I'm not the only person who feels that way. There are a ton of famous people who have journaled, different kinds of journaling. So Einstein, Charlotte Bronte, Kurt Cobain, Mark Twain, Hemingway, Susan Sontag, Thomas Jefferson, Darwin, Da Vinci. Oh my God, I love Da Vinci's journal, y'all. Emerson. Churchill, Anne Frank, Francis Bacon, Virginia Woolf, Anais Nin, Roosevelt, Lewis and Clark, Beatrix Potter, Kafka, Marilyn Monroe, and that's just to name a few. People have been journaling for a very long time. Before people were even writing with pen and paper, people were journaling and chronicling in a way on cave walls. They were drawing art and writing hieroglyphs on cave walls, documenting their lives and the events of their lives. I'm going to talk about why journaling is important, the things that journaling gives you, and then we're going to just kind of chat about journaling for a few minutes. So our lives are filled with things, things that happen. Sometimes they're current events, past events. Sometimes it's lessons we've learned. Sometimes it's our feelings and our thoughts. Uh, maybe it was date night. Maybe it's traveling somewhere, vacation. Maybe it was a sleepover at Mimi's. Maybe it's a barbecue with family. Maybe it's a birthday celebration or graduation. Sometimes it's our goals, our accomplishments, our successes and failures. Sometimes it's the connections that we have with other people. Sometimes it's our inner selves that we need to kind of reflect on. Sometimes we write to-do lists. Sometimes we do commonplace. Sometimes it's a quote that inspired you. Sometimes it's just something that we're grateful for. But we can put all of that in a journal. Now, whether or not you add art or clip art or pictures or ephemera or scrapbook stuff or anything else to your journal doesn't matter whatever style of journaling you like you want that's up to you I've found my own style my sort of hybrid mix of journaling a lot of people like to art journal um, journaling reduces stress and I can understand why art journaling would do that I'm not a huge fan of mixed media. I like it. I have to be in the mood for it. I love watercolor. Um, I'm not a big, big fan of stickers anymore. I like them occasionally, um, but I like kitty stickers, fun stickers. I like animal stickers, shark stickers. I like happy stickers, and I love clip art, and I love drawing clip art. So I don't usually use a whole lot of printed clip art anymore. I like real pictures that I take of different things collage stuff from magazine pictures. So I add a lot of different kinds of things, but I'm chronicling my life. I'm documenting my life. It's a memory keeper kind of thing for one, but for two, and I wrote some of this down so I don't forget it. So my ADHD brain can focus and I wrote it down on my journal. So journaling brings, helps bring you clarity. It helps with focus. It helps um, reduce stress. It's a way for reflection. It's a way of um, being accountable. It's a way to help improve self-awareness. Um, it's great for self-discovery. It's also, a, like I said, a good way to memory keep. It's also a great way to leave a legacy, to chronicle things and leave that for someone else or for yourself later on in case you have memory problems. And I know a lot of us will do. I can forget what I'm doing like in five seconds. Forget why I walked into the kitchen or the living room or whatever. So. For me, with my ADHD brain, um, it's really good, really good way to keep up with things. Self-discovery is one of the big things for me. Um, I write down my thoughts, my goals. I write down things I've learned, things I want to learn. I learn more about myself through my journaling, through reflecting on what I've written, um, because 
my opinions change about things. The supplies I use have changed. The types of journals I used have changed. How I journal has changed. I have a journal from way back when Mr. Rockstar and I started dating that chronicled our dating. I have one that chronicled when we moved in here and some of the fixing up we were doing in the house. I have when we were planning our wedding and when we got married. I have journals that have been finished. I have journals that haven't been finished. I have journals that have only text journaling in them. I have journals that have art in them. Um, I have sketchbook journals. I have all kinds of different journals. And I've learned through self-discovery that journaling really helps me embrace my creativity. It feeds my creative well. It nourishes my soul and my mind, which also help nourish my body. So journaling helps psychologically, emotionally, physically. Before all of this, before Mr. Rockstar and I started dating before we met, I was in a job where it was work, 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 do, do, do. I worked 50, 60 hours a week in finance and I got laid off. So I started bartending and had a lot more free time, went back to college and I met Mr. Rockstar. I had a lot more time because I wasn't working my life away. I wasn't working 60 hours a week anymore. My ulcer all but disappeared. Um, my anxiety level went down. But after, oh, I don't know, 25 or 30 years of working in finance and banking and all that accounting and all that good stuff, it was, it was time for a change. I had raised my kids and I was a single parent and I kept diary style journals on and off throughout all the years. Now back in high school, I added bits and pieces of ephemera, concert ticket stubs, the ticket stubs and receipts from the fair, from circus, from anything and everything, pictures from magazines. I made a wish list like vision board every year um, so I could work on things that were my goals, like things that I wanted to buy, things that I wanted to do, all different kinds of things. And I still do that to this day. I have a wish list. So they're goal oriented and I cross things off as I go through them. And it really helps because I am goal oriented and that helps. But having a creative space to put all this in and to do pictures, I'm visual. So I'm a right brain, left brain person. And having a journal where I can combine that really helps. Not all my journal pages are pretty. The notes for this are just notes. And they're not even all even. I have notes over to the side and I have things scratched out. Now the page before that where I'm talking about my art supplies because this is going to be the third video in the series. That's actually kind of pretty. <laughs> but there are no rules when it comes to a journal. So why not journal? And if you think you don't have time or you wouldn't want to do it this way, you get a smaller notebook. You don't have to have a big one. You can just write down one little page for every day. Some notes about how your day went or the weather or anything you want to put in. It's a safe place. You can put whatever you want to in it. Actually, this little book would actually hold one of these. And you can do it in one of these. It doesn't have to be this. A lot of people are going more towards the field notes, which is a perfect size for somebody who wants to journal. Doesn't have a whole lot of time to sit down for hours. I'm just joking. That's I'm not serious. I can sit down for hours though and journal. But journaling is extremely important for a lot of different reasons. If you think that your time and what you do during the day or during your lifetime or during the week or during the year isn't valuable, you're wrong. My father died when I was little. And if I had had a journal, it would be one of my prized possessions if I'd had one of his journals. So I journal for a number of reasons, but one of the reasons that I journal is so that I have a chronicle, so that I have some kind of legacy to leave to my kids, my grandkids, Mr. Rockstar, my family, my friends, you know. There are some of us who are fur baby parents, so it doesn't always have to be something about like your ch to leave to your children. It could be to leave to anybody. Um, there are people whose famous journals are in museums and stuff like that. I don't know that Da Vinci was necessarily keeping his journal for anybody but him. And I think that's cool because, like I said, it's your journal. And, you know, it, there aren't any rules. You can do it your way. But there's something, there's just something about putting pen to paper and putting art on the page for me that relaxes me. Embracing that creativity is part of my self-care. So why journal? Well, I journal for a lot of reasons. I journal because I love putting pen to paper. I journal now because I can document my day through sketches and watercolor and stickers and clip art and ephemera and 
all different kinds of things. Some days my pages are fun. Some days my pages are serious. Some days my pages are just whatever. I add pictures. I add drawings. I add fun stuff. I add bits and pieces from everyday life. Get to the one page really quickly. This day there was a lot of, there's a lot of text. This day was art and this whole page is about Victor. So like I said, it, it's, it's whatever I feel like doing. Some days I feel more like writing and I don't do a whole lot of other stuff. This day I have one thing and it's all text and that's a bottle of Pepto-Bismol I drew. So what does that tell you? Journaling helps me put things together. It helps me hold myself accountable. It helps me focus. It helps me clear the space in my head so that I have room to grow and to think and to do more. And I think journaling is fun. So why journal? For a whole lot of reasons. So the next video in the series is going to be about how I'm doing the what, the when, the why, the where. I talked about this one time before. So video number two is going to be about how to journal. Video number three is going to be about what to use to journal, like supplies. But how to journal is in a lot of different forms. So I'm going to do some clips of different kinds of journaling in my one journal or in a couple of different kinds of journals just to show you different kinds of journaling because I think people do all different kinds of journaling. Some people do diary style only and if that's your thing, hey, like I said, you know, you can journal however. People have Hobonichis, they have Fobonichis, they have traveler's notebooks, they have moleskin journals, they have sketchbooks, they have, there's all different kinds of journals and all different kinds of ways to journal. So we're going to get into that more in the next videos, in the next sets of videos, in the next few videos. We're going to get into that some more. Um, this is a topic I could talk about all day long because of one, how much it's helped me, how much I've grown, how much it's reduced my stress. I have fibromyalgia and reducing my stress level and helping with my depression and my anxiety help my fibromyalgia and I am feeling a whole lot better in the past few years since I started journaling like this and that was the end of 2014 when I started journaling this way. When I very first started my journey this way when I went from doing more of a, the the sort of smash book, scrapbook, diary, commonplace journaling to this hybrid of all different kinds of journal. Till next time, have, I hope you have a good one. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you again soon. Thanks. Bye.